Okay, so this time we're looking at the normal distribution. We've got some basic normal calculations. So we're looking at the concentration of red blood cells, so the cells that carry the oxygen in the bloodstream. Humans, we know it's normally distributed with a mean of 5 million per microliter and a standard deviation of 0.5 million per microliter. So what is the probability a randomly selected person has a red blood cell concentration of greater than 5.5 million per microliter? So let's start by defining a random variable. Let y be the RBC concentration. And the first thing we know is that y is normally distributed with a mean of 5 and we've got a standard deviation of 0.5 so we've got variance. of 0.5 squared. No problem. So what do you want to know? We want the probability that y is greater than 5.5. Now in the lecture we talk about standardization. You don't need to do that. You've got MATLAB. You can just work it out straight in MATLAB. So the one thing you need to do as before is convert it to a CDF. So if we want greater than 5.5 we want to have less than that. So if I look at my diagrams here, here's my cheat sheet, just to remind me, I can get less than using the norm CDF. So here's my first diagram. Here is my normal distribution. I've got a mean in the middle of 5, and I want this area here all to the right of 5.5. MATLAB won't give me to the right, won't give me greater than, it will give me less than. But the total area of this curve is 1, so basically I can just go 1 minus the stuff to the left of this and I will get the stuff to the right. So the probability that y is greater than 5.5 is 1 minus the probability that y is less than 5.5. So it's going to be 1 minus the probability that y is less than 5.5. So equals, get MATLAB up, 1 minus norm CDF so I'm going to put a 5.5, then I have to give mu, which is the mean. So we know that the mean is 5, and the standard deviation I need next, which is 0.5. There's the answer. So I'm going to put this in, as before, so I can get marks if I've typed it in wrong. I still show understanding. Finally, give the answer. Done. Okay, next one. What is the probability a random selected person has a red blood cell concentration of less than 4.5 microliters? So this one's nice and easy. It's the probability that y is less than 4.5, which equals. Well, it's already in the form of CDF, so it's just norm CDF 4.5, 5, 0.5. So my command equals Okay, notice we have the same value of 0.1587 and 0.1587. Okay, why has that happened? Well, if we look at our diagram, here's my diagram of the second one. So basically, we want the area to the left is 4.5. Yeah. If you think about it, this is nice and symmetric, and this is basically 0.5 away from the mean. This is 0.5 greater than the mean. So this area will be the same as this area. Doesn't look like it on my diagram? That's because they're rubbish diagrams, but that's basically what I'm trying to achieve. Just a bit of a gain, stupidity check to make sure the answers make sense. Now we want randomly selected person, red blood cell concentration between 5 million and 3 million. So we want the probability that 3 is less than y, which is less than 5 equals. Okay, let's have a look at the diagram of this. So here's my diagram. I've got 5 and 3, and I want this area here that's been shaded. 
Now, you can't do this directly in MATLAB, but what you can do is you can say, what's the area to the left of 5? What is the area to the left of 3? When I take the small area from the big area, I get the area that's left over. So, in MATLAB, well, let's write that so we know what we're doing. So basically, we say this is the same as the probability that y is less than 5 minus the probability that y is less than 3. So as before, we've done this a couple of times. If I can rewrite it in terms of CDFs, so this is my less than or equal. Notice I'm using just less than, less than and equal and less than are the same when I have a continuous random variable, which is what the normal is. So I convert it to them. So now I can use MATLAB. So I've got normal CDF 5, 5, 0.5 minus normal CDF. 3,5,0.5, which gives us 0 0.5. So let's put that in. That equals 0 0.5. Easy enough. Now, some of you may have noticed something here. You might go, well, look, we know the norm of the CDF of 5, 5, 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. Because if you look at this diagram, if I'm at 5, the probability of being less than this is a half. So how come when I take off this area, I'm still getting a half? Well, this diagram is not really very representative because if I look here and I actually go norm CDF of 3, comma 5, comma 0.5, that's really, really small. So basically, it should be slightly less than 0.5, but basically, because of rounding over, it looks just like 0 0.5. Just this diagram is not particularly representative. 3 is actually right down here. Never mind. OK, so final bit. We want to find a value C, or some value that you expect 95% of the population to be greater than. So we want to find the probability Y greater than value C equals 0.95. Okay, so what's the value C going to be? So if we look at our diagram, what we're looking at here, so we've got some value C here, so should the area to the right of it is 0.95. Now there's a command in MATLAB to do this called norm inverse. But the thing is, norm inverse will only give you the area. Again, you have to give the area to the left and it will give you C. Well, area to the right of C is 0.95, the area to the left of C must be 0.05. So to get that we go norm in 0.05 comma 5 comma 0.5. That's the value we must get. So first of all let's write down that. So we can put the first of all um, this is equivalent to probability that y is less than c equals 0 0.05 using on all bits. Give c equals. Is that? I.e. 95% of the population will have a reference of concentration greater than 4.1776 million per microliter. Okay, that's all. See ya.